most welcome to Astoria's Panama History Consens and the Secrets of the Signal Box 1950s Old School Railroad Safety in the United Kingdom Its Lever Frames Absolute Block System Upper and Lower Quadrant Signals and the dedicated personnel on duty day and night keeping the trains safe So, join us and learn more of the British signalman 70 years ago And please, like, share and subscribe It means a lot for us The practice of signalling has grown increasingly complex as the railways expanded to cope with the ever-increasing traffic. Great junctions may look complicated, but the basic principles of signalling are the same throughout. The demands of the working timetable are met by means of the block signalling system, which operates the line in sections, maintaining a safe distance clear in front of and behind each train. Now let's see how the particular signals are controlled from the box we just passed. This is a simple manual signal box. From this box, the signalman, let's call him Bert, controls all the points and signals in his area, together with the entrance to the block sections ahead on either road. The various levers are differently coloured for easy distinction. Yellow for distance, red for stop signals, black for points, white for spare levers, and so on. They're also numbered to relate them to the diagram above. Just as distance signals are interlocked with their homes and starters so that they cannot be pulled off on their own, so various other signals and points are interlocked one with another so that conflicting roads cannot be thrown open at the same time. Where signals cannot be seen from the box due to curves or bridges, electrical repeaters are fitted above the levers to show the signalman whether they've responded correctly. Similarly, where a portion of the line is hidden from the box, it may be connected electrically to track indicators. This device is known as a track circuit. Pairs of wheels short circuit one rail to the other and their presence shows on the indicator. Thus, the signalman can see the exact moment at which the hidden part of the line becomes clear or occupied. It can also be used to lock points and signals in accordance with the occupation of the track. These instruments are the block telegraphs, by means of which Bert maintains contact during train movements with Charlie on the one hand and Arthur on the other in the down and up sections on either side of his box. Our train is now ready to pull out of the station. Before Bert allows it to leave, he must ask Charlie to accept it into his section. Bert calls attention with one ring to Charlie on the block bell, and Charlie rings back once in reply. Bert now rings, is line clear? He offers the train, as we say, by ringing three and one, which is the code for stopping passenger trains. Charlie's line must be clear for at least a quarter of a mile beyond his home signal, the required minimum, before he accepts Bert's train by repeating the three-in-one signal. Then he pegs the block telegraph instrument, connecting with Bert, to the line clear position. As soon as Bert's telegraph receives the line clear signal, he pulls off his starting signal, which opens the line to Charlie's section. He rings twice to Charlie, meaning train entering section. Charlie pegs his telegraph to Bert to train on line. Bert, meanwhile, enters his train times in the register. The train now enters Charlie's section. As soon as the last vehicle of the train is a quarter of a mile beyond his home signal, Bert calls Arthur, and when acknowledged, rings two and one, meaning train out of section. Then he releases his telegraph connection to Arthur, which returns from the train on line position to line block. Another train is due, an express. Arthur is now calling Bert's attention. Bert acknowledges, and Arthur rings four, thus asking Bert to accept an express passenger train. Bert checks that his section is clear for a quarter of a mile beyond the home signal, and checks that his points are set for through traffic, and then rings back four, accepting the train. Now he pegs his telegraph to Arthur to line clear. Absolute block is always controlled by signalmen.
either manually or by power in some very big boxes. The term is used to distinguish the system from automatic systems, although the latter are certainly absolute in themselves. Okay, loose on the line. Yes, I've seen her. And I've refilled the lake. That's you, Arthur. There's a cow on the line between your box and mine. Wow, I've got the Lakes Express on the line. Salt taker. Don't forget to tell the driver. Oi! There's a cow on the line. Keep a sharp look out. Right. Houston, departure point for 175 trains every day. From U2 box, the first signal is sent for any train bound for the north or west of England. After its departure, no train will leave the unceasing care of the signals and the signalman until it arrives at its destination. Every train on every day of the week, slow freight or fast freight, local or express passenger train, is protected by the signals, the sentinels of safety. The bells that herald its passage, the signals that beckon it on and call it to a halt, are worked to a system as inexorable as the lords of the Medes and Persians. That's all folks. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.